Earlier this week, we told you about a, a scary moment. It happened Sunday night during a showing of the Beatles' Love in Las Vegas. One of the stunt performers took a nasty fall. This was toward the end of the show. A member of the Cirque du Soleil team um, was injured and transported to the hospital. Right after that, the show was stopped due to the medical situation. The audience was asked to leave. Fortunately, though, uh, the performer suffered non-life-threatening injuries. So it brings up the question for today. What happens when you get injured on the job? We asked our uh, Law Vegas Now expert, Eric Palacios, about this. He joins us now to talk about this. Let's talk about, first of all, what is workers' compensation? Well, workers' compensation is the system that is in place to help uh, someone that's injured on the job. It provides for uh, medical treatment and also for compensation. Okay, so who gets workers comp? Generally, all employees, uh, independent contractors and some business owners aren't covered, but if you're an employee, uh, you're entitled to workers comp. Okay, so that covers just about anyone, even if you're part-time, full-time, does it matter? As long as you're on the job and you're injured, you should be covered. But uh, there are always some back and forth between what's on the job and, and what constitutes an on-the-job injury versus something other than exactly. that. Exactly. Uh, to and from generally are not uh, covered. There's uh, specific uh, exceptions to that. Uh, but generally, you can have your medical treatment uh, covered, uh, your therapies, any surgeries that you need. Um, you're entitled to a part of your wages while you're unable to work. And if at the end of the treatment you're not back to 100% mm -hmm. as you were before the injury, then you're entitled to compensation as well. Do insurance companies fight back on that, though? It depends. Uh, obviously, they're in the business of paying out as little as possible. Right. So uh, sometimes we do have to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them to get all the benefits that our clients are uh, entitled to. Is it ever because there are gray areas? Like if someone's on break or, as you said, coming to and from work doesn't count other gray areas that come up every once in a while? There are, and that's why it's important to have legal representation to guide you through this process. As always with insurance companies, uh, because uh, is this the case with workers' comp? Are you, if you're offered workman's comp, should you consult with an attorney uh, rather than just going, oh, okay, this is what it is? It's always a good idea to consult with an attorney because there are a lot of benefits that you're entitled to, but if you don't request them or apply for them at the appropriate time, you can lose this benefit. So always important to talk to us right away. How common is on the job, uh, are on the job work injuries? Uh, very common, as p depending on what type of work you do, especially if it's uh, construction, labor, hotel, casino work. Uh, there's a lot of lifting, a lot of yeah. walking, uh, and a lot of possibilities for injuries. It, it could be just you know lifting a, a table or something and pulling a back muscle. That could be exactly uh, on the job injury. All right, Eric, always good to have you with us. Appreciate it very me. much. If you'd like more information, you can give Eric Palacios and Associates a call 702-444-7777. You can always go to their website, too, at ericpalacioslaw.com.